we've been invited to participate at the exhibition at the Bilbao Guggenheim by the Norman Foster Foundation and there we decided to revisit uh, the Flight Assembled Architecture exhibition project. Flight Assembled Architecture was commissioned by the FRAC Centre uh, in Orléans in 2012. We decided to produce uh, the installation of, of a city, an ideal city, an utopian city, that would build upon uh, a circularity, circularity of movements, of mobility and circularity of construction. We built a six meter tall model and scale one to 100 uh, in real time during the exhibition with the help of drones. We took the chance to revive this utopian project by injecting life into it. Life by virtual avatars that inhabit this virtual utopian project. Now this project we do in collaboration with Professor Siu Tang that has developed artificial humans that have their own behavior and react to the virtual environment around them. At the Computer Vision Learning Group, we work on computer vision, specializing in perceiving and modeling humans. For the FAA Revisited project, our goal is to populate a large digital environment where virtual humans have different identities, diverse body shapes, move and behave naturally in this environment. So we implement uh, efficient and scalable motion generation models that can generate 200 virtual avatars in real time in this large digital environment. In the exhibition, the visitors can actually witness all these avatars and also they can take a look at the first person perspective of these digital humans perceiving the spaces and the vertical village. This I think is very interesting because it points towards a future where architecture can first be tested by being virtually inhabited uh, before it's actually built. This is a completely new reality to the design of architecture and I think this project was particularly valuable uh, for the different research partners because here computer scientists and architects work very closely together and the groups learned a lot from the individual methods and how they combine into a future of taking the virtual as a reality in the design of architecture.